Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Antonio Obey. Thank you guys for stopping by the collection room. Today I'm looking at some Fin Force comic again. Um, as I progress through the series, we're getting up there in a few issues. And you can see this one is a little bit rough. Looks like the front cover has gotten pretty good banged up right there. Uh, banged up pretty good right there. Uh, we're looking at 37, 38, 39, and 40 today. Uh, which means uh, at four videos a piece, at four issues a piece is the tenth one of these uh, Fem Force comics videos that I've done, and we are in the black and white phase. Rad versus mixed victory, this victory. Um, one is the daughter, one is the mother. Um, I think that rotates, uh, which is which, but I'm not positive. Looks like our pencil today are John Nadal or Nadu, and I'd say starting off they're looking really good. One million dollars. One million. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, this comic just cracks me up. Um, to raid Timber Labs. Haha, ha, not only do I get paid all the money in the world for this job, but I have to have fun. I, have, I get to have fun doing it. Uh, Latimer Labs in Bayport. I, I've seen this opening page before. Um, it comes up sometimes when you're looking for Fem Force art. Kind of cracks me up just for how gratuitous it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, I think this is the old Miss Victory album? Or Miss Victory outfit? Mm -hmm. It's jolly looking art. Mm -hmm. Punch out that Nazi tramp. There. There's some quality dialogue. But you tink, Panzer. Let's quick time, Fraulein Luger. Okay, I'm familiar with Fraulein Luger. I'm not familiar with Panzer. I don't know if this is the first time she's appeared, but looks like we're about to get, like, some righteous face punching. Oh, something that Femforce never shies away from is lots of face punching. But very much liking the art. Uh, I got a little goofy picture of Hitler. Because, of course, your old uh, your World War II stories are not complete without some superhero punching out Hitler. You've always got to have somebody punch out Hitler. It's amazing how, uh, as a villain, Hitler has appeared in more comics than I think any other world leader ever. Um, and that's a nice punch. Believe me, this hurts me just as much as it hurts you. I think it's Miss Victory getting punched out by Rad. Hitler today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes it is a little ridiculous how often you see Hitler and stuff. I mean, like... I bad guy for sure that he was like in power for what 10 years 15 years something like that and man we are still filling him in our culture arts comics movies he's still a very popular insult craziness issue 38 uh i've never i have never liked this cover um don't get me wrong, I love Fem Force and I typically love the art. But there is just so, whoever did this one, it's just off. This is it doesn't look good. Like this is the waist is way, way too thin and it looks uh weird. Uh yeah. Very weird. Not a fan of that cover. And that's there's not a lot of Fem Force issues I can say. Ugh, I don't like the cover. But I do not like that cover. Um I hate to even look and see who did it. Um, everybody has their off day. It's just a shame that they kind of stuck it on the cover. Everybody else on the cover looks good. It's just that waist. Something is wrong with her waist in that cover. Um, that's a great opening page. Miss Victory. Of course, it would be so much better in color, you know, instead of the, as opposed to the black and white. But it is what it is. It's what we have. Um, but still, I think it looks great. Uh, we got story and layouts by The Count, pencils by John Nadow, or Nadow, um, inks by John Robinson, letters Walt Paisley, and edit, edit, edits and dialogue by Bill Black, of course. 
Good job, guys, on that. Not in love with your cover, but uh, usually love the contents of your book. And this is some great looking art in here. I kind of like when they don't draw uh, She-Cat's eyes quite so crazy. Um, got a rad, rad stack of cash. Um, pencils, Bill Maramon. Letters, Walt Paisley. We've got another story going on here. Um, once again, editor is Bill Black. So there you go. Story and layouts by the count. Uh, still confuses me because I'm not sure like what the count's name is. I just know that the count is uh, listed here all the time. I'm assuming he just was working kind of under a pen name and doing doing other work other places and maybe didn't want his name all over uh, some of these independent books. But at this point, I can kind of only speculate as to who the count is, or maybe he was just a really cool guy whose name was the count, and we don't really know. I suspect, though, if I'm way off, somebody will say something. Growing Pains. We got giant girl art going on. Always love that stuff. Don't always understand it, but very much appreciate it. There's a nice big fold-out page of Miss Victory. And let's see. Mm, I'm almost wondering, looking at this, if Gorby, uh, Brad Gorby, didn't do this cover. I don't know. If so, he has done much better work inside. Like, the waste is, is good there. Um, I, at one point, um, had said his art looks a little bit, uh, oh, what's the word? Parody-ish. Almost a little bit goofier. Um, probably due to his facial expressions. But, uh... I did not mean any offense by that, so sorry, Brad. I just noticed that it was it was not quite as good, or that's not the phrase. Not quite, I didn't like it quite as much as the previous artist, but it is all right. I'm pretty sure he was the writer on these things, uh, and or the uh, artist on these, uh, on the very first issues that I ever picked up. So, I mean, clearly I, it's not that, not that big of a turn off to me, but... Um, I do notice a difference in different artists, and I know that there's some I like more than others. I just noticed, like, uh, yeah, the waist is a little bit thin, but it's not not anything like the cover. The cover is just weird. Looks a little off. The rest of it, I think, looks great. So don't be mad at me, Brad. Because um, I really love... I'm starting to really... These eyebrows and the facial expressions are starting to grow on me more. And I think... That, Maybe he is more expressive in facial stuff than some of the previous artists. And maybe that makes me think more of like character work, but still. That's not a knock. It's it's nice. Editor Bill Black, lettering, Tim Wonky, story layouts, finishes. Who's our artist? Do we have one? Is it a jumble? Are we is it roulette style? Uh, it looks pretty awesome, actually. Um, she always looks just super creepy when they uh, make her eyes like that, where that sometimes they look a little more human. And also, this is the weird lettering. Uh, I've mentioned this before. I think I think I first saw lettering like this in like a Mad magazine uh, for one of their sections that they did. And it's not Comic Sans. It's literally some sort of other uh, font. And it, it's a little weird in a comic. I'm not going to lie. Um, for all the stuff I say about Fem Force, and I love it, and of course, and I, I, I push the book all the time. Uh, if you if you haven't ever read one, go check one out. They're they're just interesting. But a lot of times, man, they do use a weird font, and I'm I'm not sure why it seems so out of place sometimes. But I can't say as another actual comic that I've ever seen it used that particular font. Uh, it's something that, I, like I said, I think the only other place I've seen it is there was some strips that they used to put in Mad Magazines. Ugh. Sorry. Um, that used that font, and I, I can't say as I've seen it anywhere else. It is a little odd in a comic book, though. I don't know what that is supposed to be. That's kind of disturbing. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can always go down a weird path when you start fighting biological plants and things. And yeah, so she cat with a, with a slightly more humane eye looks less demonstrous and weird than uh, she does when she's super super. What it up, Dick Ayers on pencils, inks, Chad Hunt. Um, gosh, this is that that is a little bit that is a wonky looking picture of the blue bulleteer. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I, I, I hate to point it out when I see it, but sometimes when I see it, I'm just like, you know, that doesn't look very good. That's kind of wonky looking. And that definitely falls into the wonky category. I don't know what, what went wrong there, but it is what it is. Time, budgets, history, everything. I'm not going to knock somebody's art too hard. I do like pointing out when I see weird stuff because it makes me wonder if the artist had an odd day or an off day, or just a time schedule, or just something about the angle that they couldn't get quite right. Don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna give anybody crap because I can't draw to save my life. But it is funny sometimes when you see something. I mean, I have seen stuff in Marvel Comics that I'm just like, really? How did this, how did this get cleared? This just looks terrible. And we don't even need to talk about uh, Rob Liefeld to get into that conversation. Looks like we're gonna fight some, I don't know what this helicopter airplane thing is, a gyro bird. That's a cool looking plane. Fem letters. Is that what it's always been called? Or did they change the name of the letter page? I don't remember fem letters. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. Set those right there. Actually, we might leave them in order. No, that is in order. I do like that covered for 37. Issue 40, it looks like we have Dick Ayers on the cover. Dick Ayers cover. Not sure who's on that cover. I'm gonna look and see if I can see a signature on this cover. I don't. I don't see one anywhere, so I don't know who did this cover, but. Anyway, we're on to this one. Dick Ayers did this cover. He does a lot of, uh, I don't know. I, I, something about his art style reminds me of something, but I can't, I can't place what. Um, and it definitely has to do with the eyes he draws. It has a weird, um, I don't know. It reminds me of something I can't place. Let's see, this one finishes Mark Heike, uh, story art by Bill Black. So this is a Bill Black, both doing uh, double duty on the story and the art. Uh, that is super weird nightmare fuel. And let's see, lettering, Tim Twonky. Tim Twonky, is that why the lettering looks weird? Is because it's all Twonky? Whoa. Uh, once again, it's they're using the, the older font that I'm not crazy about, which, uh, I, like I said, I've only seen in FemForce comics, but it is a thing. You wouldn't think it would add so much, but I recently, a while back, I watched a video about just, like, the art of lettering and how people would letter their comic books and stuff like that. And after that, man, every book I, I look and I notice. And I'd always notice there was something odd about FemForce. And then I realized that was one of the things, was their lettering is different, extremely different. And it's not on all of them, because I've noticed, some of them I've noticed has just like normal Comic Sans lettering, but um, yeah. They also use this weird, almost looks like a digital typed out thing. And wowza, that is a hideous, scary cat woman monster thing. Yeah. Where cats are more afraid, more uh, scary than werewolves. I'm just gonna, just gonna throw that out there. They totally are. Uh, another Stardust pinup. Uh, this one is by Gorn Heike. Uh, looks very nice. I like that very much. Um, Stardust, one of my favorite uniforms of the team. 
um, love it very much. So I like that. Of course, I like Terra. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite like power sets, just because I love the giant thing. Like I'm into that. I think it's interesting. Terra on the Dark Continent. This is one I would love to have. Uh, I I have never even seen it. And that's one thing you'll know is, uh, or one thing to know, is Femforce back issues are are murder to get. Absolute murder to get. Um, either they're going to be in a dollar bin that, that are unappreciated, and that's going to be rare. Most likely, uh, they're going to be uh, for sale individual on eBay for uh, 10 15 bucks a piece. I mean, they're, they're hard to get. And then a lot of them, like in the 100s, or like a 150, 160, those issues, man, I have seen, I have seen crazy prices on those, uh, up to even like 30, $40 an issue, uh, just because they didn't make a lot of them. They were very, very thick. They had a lot of issues or a lot of, uh, pages of content, but, uh, they're out of my price range. They are, they are insanely good. Um, but dang, they are, they are hard to get a hold of. I am extremely lucky to have issues one through 100. Uh, with no gaps, and I've even got a few in 100 to 200. Uh, that said, th it is a hard book for me to get a hold of, especially here in uh, little uh, desert New Mexico, but I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Um, if anybody who happens to work on FemForce uh, saw this video, please do not take offense. I love your book. I just love to point out some of the weirdness uh, sometimes. Um, appreciate it very much. I will catch you guys later. That's my story. Bye.